Hi, it's me again, and I wanted to talk to you today about one of the more scammy parts of the TV license. We know the TV license is one big scam anyway, but one of the more scammy things not everybody is talking about. But someone on Witch, an actual writer for Witch, which is quite a big thing, has looked into it, and we're going to talk about this story today. So I'll read you a little bit, and then we'll have a bit of a chat, as normal, afterwards. Let's go. If you're one of the millions who pay their TV license by direct debit or cash payment plan, did you know you're giving a £1 billion interest-free loan to the government? When I moved house last year, I took out a new TV license. Moving is an expensive business, so I thought I'd spread the cost of the license by paying by direct debit. What I didn't realise until then was that anyone who pays for their TV license by monthly direct debit is charged double for the first six months. You then have to make regular payments from month seven. This effectively means that your TV license account is six months in credit all the time. You don't get this money back until you no longer have to pay for a TV license or you switch payment method by paying your license fee in advance. So yes, for many of us, that means holding out until we're 75 or die. Great. Not so much when you turn 75 anymore, hey, Witch Magazine? Anyway, let's read on. I initially told myself to get over it. It's £72.75 that I'll get back at some point. But the thought kept festering. Why on earth should they keep the money like this? So I decided to issue a request under the Freedom of Information Act, and that's when I discovered the sheer scale of this interest-free loan. 14.7 million households pay for their TV license by direct debit, with a further 1.5 million paying under a cash payment plan or monthly cash plan, whereby you pay regular payments at Paypoint outlets. Both systems operate a six months in advance principle with the money held in the government's consolidated fund account from which the BBC receives a monthly payment. Considering this amount of TV licenses, our calculations show that a massive £1 billion of extra payments is earning interest in the government's coffers. Now, this is a slightly old article, so the values there are a bit out, but it's a very fair point. Why should you have to bloody pay in advance? You know, I can pay my bills on time, and I'm sure many of you out there are capable of paying your bills on time. So why do you need to hold my payments six months in advance because you think I might default at some point? What a massive scam. My phone doesn't operate like that. Netflix doesn't operate like that. They bill me for the month I've used. I pay it, we move on to the next month. And that's how bills are. So what the hell is going on? It's such a scam, and that is a really scammy part of the entire scam. That is the TV license. It's an absolute joke, isn't it? Paying six months in advance. You know, absolutely ridiculous. And will you get it back? Well, when you turn 75, you won't, because you've still got to pay for your TV license at this point. The only way you'll get that money back is to cancel your TV licenses, and I suggest you all do it. I've got loads of links and loads of videos on this channel that will help you to cancel your TV license if you haven't already. If you have cancelled your TV license, then help as many people as you possibly can to cancel their TV licenses. I've got all the information below. Send my links out, put it on your social media. TVLicenseStop.co.uk is a website that I set up that will help loads of people as well. So, What do you think about this? Anyway, leave me a comment below. We'll try and have a bit of a chat about it because it's really scammy, isn't it? And it's very scummy tactics. So yeah, leave me a comment. We'll have a bit of a chat about it and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.